Okay, so the Milwaukee's have been failing on me. I think God's been leaving them in the sun after they're run dead, waiting to be charged. Not having enough chargers on site probably mattered. Anyway, these uh, Chinese versions, just get an idea of the difference of quality. They're definitely worth sales. This is about a year old battery and uh, it has popped at some point. And you can see the battery acid down in the tray. So that's, it's only giving me like 0.8 volts on each um, cell. I don't know what you call it. Cell group in series. Anyhow, so you can test these things, figure out your groups, look for patterns like that plate there groups three batteries together, right? And on the other side, it'll be a a much bigger plate connecting those three to the next three. This is the uh, positive side. Yeah, no, negative side. So anyhow, so you figure out which group is not at the level of the others. In this case, these are at 4.08 volts, each group of three, 4.8, 4.08, 4.08. And then this one was like 2.9, this group of three. So I made up some whips here, some leads, and stuffed them in there. I didn't think of this. I saw it on another video. Um, and you got to get this model of the Opus battery charger. Put a wedge in there and then set it up as many, uh, as high a voltage as you can pump into this thing and try and, what you're doing is trying to equalize. You're trying to bring the 3.95 up to the 4.08. I'm up to 3.95, but I don't know if I'll get there. If I don't get there, then, I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but basically I think it's the weakest chain link in the chain and it will continue to, if you don't straighten it, bend it tight, if you will, that chain will open up again. You gotta get it to 4.08. There's my metaphor for the day. This cell is, this group of cells is the weakest link in the chain. So I, I went through this one already and uh, each cell group was at uh, 3.94. One of the cell groups was down at, uh, I don't know, what was it at, 3.0 or something. Brought it up to 3.95. <laughs> Put it all back together, stuff it on a device, and uh, works great. I actually use it on the blower, which really draws batteries down fast. And uh, one thing I've done is um, just simply unplug it, wait 15 minutes. Once I see it, those numbers kind of plateau and not not go up. So. Um, that's what, uh, and, and then when I when I reconnect, I'll get another, I don't know, two tenths or something, doing another 15 minutes off. I don't know what can happen here. If these things can pop, explode, I don't know. But I did fix one, and there's several. So we'll see. Figured out how to fix these things. And we've learned that, I mean, for $30 for a year, I guess it has some value. But they're nowhere near as good a sales as these Milwaukee's.